Welcome to Aki Now with Molly Mel. I'm Melissa. Today we are unboxing the Deluxe Litha Collection by The Witch's Moon. This box is limited to 100, so keep watching. Alrighty guys, so like I said in the intro, Today we are opening the special edition Litha box by The Witch's Moon. This box was limited to only 100 boxes, so extremely limited. This is the second time that I get one of their special editions, Sabbath boxes. The other one that I got before was the In Bulk box. If you haven't seen that one, I'm gonna link it right here so that you can check out that special edition as well. So today we are opening the Litha box. Now Litha is also known as the Summer Solstice or Midsummer Day. So I can't wait to see what they put together for us. So uh, let's get started. I just break out the box to make it easier. But look at this. Right off the bat, I know that this thing right here, the big box, is a statue. So we're going to start with that. So here we have this. We're going to put this to the side. I'm actually going to go ahead and put this like this and let's start digging in our box so this is going to be a statue and i know that because this is by the veronese design it's a part of their studio collection we had a box similar to this one in the in bulk box and in there we got a beautiful bridget statue um we're going to start with this let me put this on the ground first just because i feel like this right here is like messing with my lighting here so i'm going to put this down all right that was much better <laughs> So we're gonna start with this. So let's see what we have. Um, okay. Now these um, figurines or statues, anything by this company is typically on the expensive side. So I am going to assume this is going to be the most expensive item within this collection. Okay, so we got this out. Um, let's see what we have have my scissors here so we can cut through the tape and ooh, this is pretty we have what it looks like a fairy oh it says um Ain maybe um, I'm not sure how to pronounce it is a i n e this is a beautiful Wow, this is beautiful. And let me grab the box. So what else do we have in here? So we have just some padding. And I'm just gonna take everything out of the box um, just so that the lighting here doesn't get all weird. Okay, so now we have an empty box. Everything is right here on the table. So um, next we have, oh, this is a really pretty like piece of artwork for your Book of Shadows of Grimoire. It says Litha. Oh, the glory above of blinding light, the showering of blessings, the coming of night. On this longest day, I stand beneath the pregnant earth, for the sun has come, the moonlight's near, rattle of the shadow's hearth. Oh, growth and pain, strength and will, my gratitude overflows, for amongst my guides, my hopes are shared to blossom and take root. Oh, hail the rays of light, bring with it divine sight. As we dance and sing in trance, may our ancestors come and join us. So mode at thee. That is so pretty. And here we have the Chi Chi. So we're going to put this to the side. Um, okay. So we have what it looks like a candle. I am thinking yellow. So we'll see. So I was wrong. This is a yellow candle, but um, there is more to this. I'm trying to see if I can find the scissors. Okay. I don't want to mess this up, so I'm just going to cut it. Oh, this looks so pretty. Ah, it's like a beautiful 
um let's see if there's anything in here <laughs> okay it's like a beautiful ritual candle it is purple it is the beeswax candle this looks like calendula and we have a quartz crystal point um right here as well this is beautiful hopefully we have some information on this i'm assuming this is just to burn on litha so what else do we have um Oh, we have pine cones. It is said that any pine cones that have been collected during midsummer are considered to be a powerful amulet, holding the energies of protection, virility, and fertility. Oh, that's cool. So we have little pine cones right there. I'm going to go ahead and take one out. And of course, at the end of the video, I will show close-ups of everything. Next, we have a buck eye. Huh. It says, the buck eye represents the brilliance of the sun and has commonly been used to make necklaces during litha to draw prosperity and good luck to the bearer. These unique nuts have also been revered as protective amulets. That's cool. All right, so let's continue here. So we have this big bag. Um, so I wonder what we have in here. It's like a big package. Um, we have all kinds of stuff in here, as you can see. Oh my goodness, okay. So here we have some white light ritual incense cones right here. Let's take a whiff. Hmm. So these smell very flowery. And here we have some uh, muslin bag for like tea. Here we have another one. Here we have ritual herbal tea, the uh, biken blend. So that's that. All right, so um, here we have, oh, uh, another ritual herbal tea. This is Sun Divine. So here we have that. So that's why we have two muslin bags because it looks like we have two types of tea. Okay. And here we have, oh, we have some calendula petals, which you know calendula, just like some flowers, can um, certainly be like linked to the sun, right? Or like solar energy or solar magic. So here we have some calendula petals. And here we have, let's see, we have here, oh, Oh, it's like um, it's like a um, incense holder for like a, a cone incense or even regular incense sticks. It looks like it's made out of like some sort of like stone. So here we have that. So this is actually really cool because it is shaped like a um, flower, but it also reminds me of the sun. So that's pretty cool. And ooh. We have a crystal. We have a big tumbled piece of clear quartz. And we have a ritual spray. Mm -hmm. Ah, this is the Litha or Blessings of Litha Aura Spray. Let's take a whiff. Mmm. It definitely smells citrusy to me. So it's pretty cool. We're gonna put this to the side. And we have this left. Okay. This is so cool. This box has a lot of like really cool stuff. Let me just cut this. Okay. So judging by the size, this can either be like a pocket size book or maybe like an oracle or tarot deck Ooh, okay it looks like it's going to be a card deck but i don't know what kind okay oh this is so cool it's a celtic spirit oracle ancient wisdom from the elementals by nicola mcintosh 
that is cool i love this it includes a 36 cards and a guidebook 36 cards and a guidebook Ooh, let's see if we can open this real quick so that we can take a look at um the designs on the cards so it's a small deck 36 cards okay it looks like the retail price for this would typically be $24.95 so I would say that between the cards and the statue we probably already have about a hundred dollars worth of um, items right so let's see so here we have the little guidebook and here we have the cards Ah, it's so cool I love the Celtic designs Oh, let's see. So it has like the green foiling. Oh, these are pretty. Look at the back of the cards. And uh, for example, let's see. This is the Tree Spirit number 10 Strength, Growth, and Stability. And we have one final item, which I'm going to assume it's a book or like a journal. So, uh, ooh. this is a spell book for the seasons. Welcome Natural Chain with Magical Blessings by Tudor Beth. Ooh, I love hardcover books. Um, it looks like the retail price for this would be $26.95. It says, cast spells to bless your life at home. Embrace change and bring in prosperity, fulfillment, and energy throughout the year. From smudging with sage to cleanse your home in the spring, to midsummer rituals to inspire creativity, to protection spells in autumn and winter healing. There are spells for every season all gathered together here to celebrate our magical connection with the natural world. That is so cool. Let's take a quick peek. Ooh. Ooh, I just opened it where it says summer. So let's see what we have here. Ah, it just talks about like the um, summer garden. And let's see what else we have we have a sunflower spell if you have disharmony in your home or you suspect a negative presence then have several sunflowers placed around the house as you place a sunflower in every room cast this spell sunflower of warmth take away this cold sunflower of light take away this dark sunflower of grace take away this presence fill my house with love light and peace and it harms none, so mote it be. That's awesome. It says, when the sunflower has completely dried away, keep the seeds for future spells. If you find your house becoming a bit crowded spiritually, then invest in spirit quartz or fairy quartz and place it in the room with the most activity. Never be afraid of the spirit world, the things that go bump in the night. This is your world and there are guests within it. If you do not wish to have contact with spirits, then merely say it so out loud. That is pretty interesting. Okay, so now that we took all the items out, let's go over the content list. It says the Deluxe Litha Collection. We are so thrilled 
that you are receiving our very first deluxe litha collection limited to 100 now this box was a little pricey it was 160 dollars but it did come with amazing uh things here um so continuing with the content list it says that within this collection you will find a variety of items that are intended to be used within your litha rituals altars and celebrations during this very special time of year through our personal practice we spend our time celebrating the longest day of the year watching the sun rise above the sky and fall below the horizon counting our blessings as it passes midsummer or litha marks the time of the summer solstice where the peak of the sun's power shines over us all from this day on we step into the waning year where the shadows unveil the mysteries. Litha is a time of celebration to craft and create to nurture new life. As you celebrate in your own personal way, take the time to document your readings, rituals, and creations. This is a time where the wheel turns again in your favor. May this Litha bring a time of resolute peace to you and yours. The magical items within this box are as follows. First, we have the Aine. Aine? Please let me know how to pronounce this. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. Um, so she is the fairy queen of summer love and fertility. Within Celtic stories, you will hear about the great feasts of midsummer that were held in her honor. She is a true representation of the sun, love, passion, and fertility, ensuring that the coming harvest is bountiful and bright. And this is a gold cast bronze statue. Next, we have the Spellbook for the Seasons by Tudor Beth. Next, we have the Celtic Spirit Oracle Deck. Next, we have the Litha Celebration Spell Candle, large. Yes! <laughs> it says this candle has been adorned with calendula petals and a quartz crystal. In addition, this candle has been anointed with the oils of lavender, sweet orange, and ylang ylang. Oh, that's pretty cool. Next, we have the Blessings of Litha Aura Spray. This spray has been created with the oils of ginger, orange, frankincense, and myrrh. In addition, we have used our Litha oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. All right, next we have the Biken Beacon um, Blend Ritual Herbal Tea with Muslin Bag. This blend includes cranberries, orange peel, hibiscus, ru rubies, root. Rubos, rubos, <laughs> uh, with cranberry and orange flavor. Next, we have the Sun Divine Ritual Herbal Tea. This blend includes cinnamon apple pieces, rubos, calendula petals, and natural flavor. Next, we have the calendula petals. This is a three by five bag. Next, we have the White Light Ritual Cone Incense, which we have right here. Oh, so this is soapstone. It says soapstone incense holder. Next, we have the quartz palm stone with purple drawstring bag, which we have right here. It's a quartz palm stone. Next, we have the midsummer pine cones, which we have right here. Next, we have the hand painted buckeye talisman, which we have right here. May these items bring you a sense of hope accomplishment and celebration during this brilliant time blessed be oh i just noticed so i got box number 12 out of 100 i love that they give you uh what your box was out of like all of them so again i got 12 out of 100 how cool is that Alrighty, guys this box was amazing yeah it was pricey 160 dollars but Again, I would say this was probably around $75. This was, what, $25? It's $100 right there. And then this book right here was $27. So we have $127. And again, we paid $160. And we still have the herbal teas, the calendula. We have the uh, pine cones right here. We have the spray. We have the candle. We have uh, the artwork, we have the other crystal, um, this. So I think all in all, it was a pretty cool uh, box. And of course we have this as well. Um, as far as my favorite items, I would have to say 
definitely the candle i love it i also love this statue right here beautiful statue so i love this as well um i also really like the quartz uh palm stone i think it's like a really decent size um i love the book um i love so much stuff here so i would say yeah my favorites are the statue the candle the palm stone and the book but everything was like really cool if i have to pick at least favorite it would just be the teas just because i'm not really much of a tea drinker other than that i thought the box was amazing let me know in the comments down below what you thought about the box which item was your favorite and least favorite i hope you have a blessed litha as usual if you love the things that i talk about definitely subscribe comment like and hit that notification bell so that you can keep on geeking out with me. 